see Lindelof videos solving nonlinear systems equations with our TI Inspire Cast. This is super easy, so I'm going to pick a really easy example, but the examples can get as difficult as you would like, assuming that there's an intersection. So this is all I'm doing. I'm going to pick this nonlinear system. And so I have x squared plus y squared is equal to 10 as part of my system. And then the second equation is 2x plus y is equal to 1. So there's my system. And all I'm going to do from there, all I'm going to do from there is start to put this in. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to my home screen on my calculator. So up here, right? That takes me to here. It's already on calculator, but I just want to show you, if you end up anywhere else, just use your down or up cursor and move. You almost never want to use Scratchpad. I'm not even sure what it's there for, but this is the calculator icon, so that's what you want. So we're going to go there. Now we're in calculator. From calculator, go to menu. From menu to algebra. From algebra to solve systems. And because this is not a linear system, it is important which one of these you choose. So you can do non you can do linear systems in the in, with number one also, but you can't do nonlinear systems with number two. Is there something to think about? It, it these are the defaults, and we do have two equations, and in our case we have set them to x and y, so that's all good. So I'm going to hit OK here, and then look, it just gives us this shell, and I'm just going to fill it in carefully, and it says that we have x squared, right? plus y squared is equal to 10, right? Plus y squared equal to 10. So these are the exact same keystrokes you should be doing. And then from here, you can either use the down cursor, you can use either the down cursor, or you can use tab to move down. Either way is okay. And then 2x plus y, right, is equal to 1, right? And now, honestly, as long as you put this thing in correctly, as long as you take your time and don't rush through it, right, it is this simple. So there's your answer. And if you wonder, it says here that x is negative 1 and y is 3, or x or x is 9 fifths and y is equal to negative 13 fifths. If you're wondering why that's true, it's because you have a circle, right? You have a circle, and it's possible for a line to pass through a circle as many as two times. And I'll actually show it to you. I think I have it. Do I have it? Oh, I thought I actually had that for you to see. And I guess I don't. There it is right there. Right? So there, there it is right there. And this is another method you could use. And I use this by graphing, and I just use the equation grapher. So, look, I hope this is really helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, and do me a favor. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Peace.